the exam room from the math examination. Some of the students from Nyagasambu School in Ramagana District couldn't hesitate to confirm that they are positive that they will excel. We're from doing the mathematics exam. It was easy. What we expected is not what we got. We thought it could have been harder, but I expect to excel. The math exam we just finished was easy. It's the things that we studied. There was no challenge. Even while we were at home, we continued to study through radio lessons. Robert Ducajave, whose child is currently doing his ordinary level final exam, says parents have done their best to prepare their children after a whole year of no school. We gave them ample time to prepare for their exams as parents. When they work in the morning, we don't occupy them with too much housework, but rather use their time to revise. We encourage them to not get distracted, and we also encourage them to have timetables of when they can revise, perhaps in the afternoon, and then wake up in the morning at 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. With the current lockdown, the government has committed to transport the students doing exams to and fro their homes. So the government arranged so that uh, all those people can be facilitated. Now we have uh, around uh, 151 buses that are operating here in the city of Kigali. And uh, the government is going to anchor the cost. All those students, uh, the support staff and all others who are involved in this uh, exam administrations are not going to pay for transportation, for transport fees. So the government uh, thought uh, there shouldn't be a, a student who can be prevented from sitting a national exam because maybe the parents could not pay the transport fees. So the government is incurring the entire cost. These exams are currently underway at a time Rwanda is battling against the coronavirus pandemic, with 106 students doing exams while COVID-19 positive. Bernard Bahati, the Director General of the National Examination and School Inspection Authority, says these students are being given special attention. Particularly concerning the student who may be um, sick now, uh, who conducted, uh, who tested positive to COVID-19, they are also facilitated and no one is going to miss uh, national exams due to the fact uh, that he or she uh, tested positive to COVID-19. As we did for our P6 exams, uh, even for the, these uh, current national exams, there are arrangements. The students who are in home-based care, uh, they are uh, facilitated to move from their homes to exam site and then they sit for exams uh, in a, a special room, special exam rooms, and then they are also facilitated from exam centers to, to their homes. 195,987 students from ordinary, advanced, and TVET levels are the ones sitting for the national examinations, including 1,930 from private schools, and these exams will be concluded on the 27th of this month.